Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with uh, railway engineering. So the first question, con deficiency occurs when a vehicle travels around a curve at option A, equilibrium speed, option B, speeds higher than equilibrium speed, option C, speeds lower than equilibrium speed, option D, booked speed. So the correct answer is option B, speed higher than equilibrium speed. Next to scene, the type of spike used for fixing chairs of bullheaded rails to wooden sleeper is option A, dog spike, option B, rail screw, option C, elastic spike, option D, round spike. The correct answer is option D, round spike. Next to scene, composite sleeper index is the index of option A, hardness and strength, option B, strength and toughness, option C, toughness and wear resistance, option D, wear resistance and hardness. The correct answer is option A, hardness and strength. Next question, staged joints are generally provided option A on curves, option B on straight track, option C when two different rails sections are required to be joined, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option A on curves. Next question, creep is the option A longitudinal movement of rail, option B lateral movement of rail, option C vertical movement of rail, option D difference in level of two rails. The correct answer is option A longitudinal movement of rail. Next question, due to battering action of the wheel over the end of the rails, the rail get bent down and are deflected at ends. These rails are called option A roaring rails, option B hogged rails, option C corrugated rails, option D buckled rails. The correct answer is option B hogged rails. Next question, the main function of the fish plate is option A to join the two rails together, option B to join rails with the sleeper, option C to allow the rail to expand and contract freely, option D none of the above. The correct answer is option A to join the two rails together. Next question, the purpose of providing fillet in the rail section is to option A increase the lateral strength, option B increase the vertical stiffness. Option C avoid the stress concentration. Option D reduce the wear. The correct answer is option C to avoid the stress concentration. Next question. Two important constituents in the composition of the steel used for the rail are option A carbon and silicon. Option B magnes and phosphorus. Option C carbon and magnes. Option D carbon and sulfur. The correct answer is option C carbon and magnes. Next question, which of the following types of sleeper is preferred on joints? Option A, CST 9 sleeper. Option B, steel through sleeper. Option C, wooden sleeper. Option D, concrete sleeper. The correct answer is option C, wooden sleeper. Next question, total effective bearing area of the both the bowls of the pot sleeper is option A, slightly more than that of the wooden sleeper. Option B, slightly less than that of the wooden sleeper. Option C equal to that of the wooden sleeper. Option D none of the above. The correct answer is option C equal to the wooden sleeper. Next question, pick up the incorrect statement from the following. Option A, sleepers hold the rails at the proper gauge on the straights. Option B, sleepers provide the stability or to the permanent way. Option C, sleepers act as an elastic cushion between the rails and ballast. Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer is option D, none of the above. Because all above points are correct. Next question, on Indian Railway, number of crossing is defined as Option A, sine of the angle of crossing Option B, cosine of the angle of crossing Option C, tangent of the angle of crossing Option D, contingent of angle of crossing The correct answer is Option D, contingent of angle of crossing Next question, bundle clips cannot be used Option A, wooden sleepers Option B, concrete sleepers Option C, CST 9 sleepers Option D, steel through sleepers. The correct answer is option C, CST 9 sleepers. Next question, for providing the required tilt of the rails, ordering of the wooden sleeper is done for option A, bull headed rails, option B, double headed rails, option C, flat footed rails, option D, any type of rails. So the correct answer is option C, flat footed rails. 
again we will see next video thank you